All right, y'all, we just made it to the Atlanta airport. It's super busy out here in these streets, so make sure y'all get into the airport on time. I'm just saying, let's go to work. We're starting a three-day trip today. Let's get it. It's just so busy in there. All right, y'all, good morning. We are at the Atlanta airport. I am flying the A position today, and we have three legs. Let's go to work. All right, we just finished our First day of three. Today was really eventful. I'm gonna share my story once I get to my hotel. Let's go to our layover. We are back in Tampa with another layover. Um, we had we had an early, 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 early day. I started this morning. <laughs> I started this morning around 6 a.m. I got up at 5 a.m. We had three legs today. Today was really eventful. Today was really eventful, so let's start off the day. We had one, we had three legs. Cool. On uh, our second leg, we had a passenger. Well, cause she walked on the plane. She was just crying so bad, and I wanted to cry. I hate when people cry. It makes me so sad. So it was her first time flying, and she was just really hysterical. She was just so sad about flying. I said, you "No, know, it's gonna be okay. Whatever." We were cheering her up like it's gonna be like whatever. And I heated up my food on the plane. I was getting ready to like write her thank you note for flying, being a first time flyer, give her her wings. And all of a sudden, passengers like kept bringing, bringing a call light. I'm like, what's going on? So I step into the aisle, y'all, and she's like basically like fainting in her seat. So I'm just like, okay, hold on, what do I do? Um, I kind of forget sometimes that we have a medical emergency that haven't had one in a long, long time. So I kind of like froze for a second, like, wait, what do I do? But I literally pulled, pulled it together. I, you know, went to my medical assistants you know you page them any medical personnel on board thank god it was somebody on the plane that knew what they were doing they were a doctor and uh, we got her together we, she didn't eat at all she had low sugar so we had to you know i gave her some of my blueberries because blueberries are, you know they have sugar and blueberries um she had some bits off cookies you know she was fine we gave her some sprite and then she was fine like the next 10 minutes so the next 20 minutes go by you know i get another call from the same seat and i'm just like oh no so she passed out again and this time i she's hyperventilating so like she she was she was just really in bad shape so you know i just i'm saying all this to say like as a flight attendant you know it looks so glamorous like yeah we're a flight attendant yeah we, we live this nice life thank you jesus but like we still have to take care of others we're still we're kind of like medical people in the air like we have to be at assistance we have to be on call and it hurts my heart sometimes because i don't know i don't know what to do like i'm just like sometimes i just don't know what to do because i've never been put in that position um i am flying a flight leader so i was like the point of contact i was the first person on the scene so it was really like intense for me and i had to hold it together and thank god she was okay we did have the ents meet the flight once we landed in atlanta but sometimes, you know, being a flight attendant takes a toll on you sometimes because you just have to deal with so much. You have to be so strong. And even today, like, you know, I, I always hold it together. I am really, I do really well under pressure. That's why my flight attendants, I do well under pressure. I used to waitress, I did well under that pressure as well. So I'm always just like, always good under pressure. But I just want to remind people who want to be flight attendants, like, you, you have to be prepared to be medical, like, be a nurse, be a mom. You have to be the counselor. You have to be all these kind of things, all wrapped in one. Um, this is the life of a flight attendant. I can't make this up. Like, this is, like, real life. So I just want to encourage people, like, <laughs> flight attendants for sure, like, definitely definitely tap into that mental health mental health awareness because you, you, you need that support. You need that outlet to talk to people when you are going through things and you're doing everything for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Definitely set them boundaries. I'm a firm believer in setting boundaries, but again, this is work and sometimes you just can't set boundaries. But I'm just happy that the girl is okay because I was like, my poor little heart can't take you. I was, I was sad for her because I can't, being in pain is just not, I hate being sick. I just dislike being sick. I can only imagine being sick on a plane, first time flying. You don't, you haven't flown before. Like it's really uncomfortable. But thank God it was just a panic attack and nothing too crazy. I'm saying that all to say, when y'all want to become a flight attendant, let's know it's, it's glamorous, but it's really not okay. We be in the mud. I was on my knees, you know, my clothes was on the floor with them. Like I was really like going in, going in too. So life of a flight attendant, let's get into it. But we are here in Tampa. So let's get into our Tampa layover tour. Um, So we do have a king size bed. When I say this hotel is super nice. I love this hotel. One of my favorite layovers. Um, So we have a mirror here, full length mirror. I'm about to go outside to the pool, so I'm gonna make this really quick because we have we have about a couple hours here. Our pickup time tomorrow is 5 30 in the morning, so it's super early. It's have to be up at 4 30 probably and be outside. 
Um, oh, you know, the last time I had this room, I had a walk-in shower, but it's okay. Let's check the hot water to make sure it's running. Or hot, running hot. All right. Water hot. Come on, clean. Drop you a towel down. Make sure it's clean here. We're gonna look for any back splash. You have an LED mirror light here. Sorry, I put my pants up. Um, so yes. Let's get into our hotel. Let's put our food away. All right. I do the same thing every layover. I take this out, put it on the bed. I'm gonna go to the pool, let go. Oh, so we are by the pool at our hotel layover. Just chilling at Maxson. Eating some nuts, drinking some water, and minding my business. I have three hours to be downstairs and get a workout in. Let's go. Life of a flight attendant. Layover life. Bad attitudes, though. Maybe. Such a relaxing layover. This is definitely needed after my long, long day. So nice outside. Let's head to our room to go to the gym. Alright y'all, good morning. Hey y'all, good morning. I cannot. <laughs> good morning. I am headed to work. We have one leg to, to LA today and we are done for the day. We have 20 hours in LA. Let's go to work. Flying with skates. Back at it again. Make sure you guys to subscribe to this video. Good night. layover or LA layover nice room I haven't stayed here before Long Beach full length mirror super nice I love the hardwood floors and the entry the bathroom here make sure it's clean it smells nice in here instantly hot Please, LED mirror. These beds look so tiny. I'm going to fall over on these beds. I cannot stand on these pillows on the bed. Always take them off. Put back your sheets. Kick up your feet. Mm -hmm. Checking for cleanliness. Starbucks coffee there, super cute room, super quiet room. Oh, there goes the beach. Oh, we're gonna go to the beach for sure, y'all. Let's go lay out for a second. It's, it's no sun here, but we're gonna go out. All right, y'all. This is <laughs> dusty. This, <laughs> this is day two of day three. Tomorrow's go home day. Let's get into that video. I cannot wait to go home tomorrow. I'm so over today. And this is the bad half. I just wanted to go home. Um, today we did experience a little delay. Our plane was delayed like by 30 minutes. Um, so I took some time to edit my video and just relax. Not a problem at all. Whatever. We still got to a pretty. We still got to LA pretty early. It's 9:30 or what? We landed at 9:30. It's 10:46, so we still have a, a lot of time. Um, tomorrow pickup time is at 4:30 in the morning. Ugh, early morning reports are never fun, but here we are. Here we are. I look really dusty. I look really. Oh well, y'all seen that? <laughs> I might edit it out either. I'll call me later. Um, so yeah, we have a pickup time tomorrow at 4.30 a.m. in the morning, super early morning. But right now, we're gonna get into this video. I'm gonna go to the gym, go to the beach, and just walk, walk, down, the, walk down the boardwalk and just relax and just chill. We have so much time here. We have 20 hours here, so let's get into it. Could look dusty. We are about to head downstairs and get in the lift and go to Frosco's Chicken and Waffles.
goals. I love coming to LA to do this. It makes me so happy on the inside. And then we're gonna explore <clears throat> by our hotel and see what's going on in Long Beach. Let's go to the beach. All right. Roscoe's chicken and waffles is so good. Mm, the Obama special macaroni cheese on the side and some hot sauce and syrup. Only when you're in LA. Came in from Roscoe's chicken and waffles and it was so good. I wish I could have more, but the way my diet <laughs> is set up, I can't eat it every day. It's so good. So now I'm on my way back to the hotel. I'm just walking back from Roscoe's. It was actually 12 minutes. I could have walked there, but I said, nah. Let me Uber. So we are in Long Beach, California, and we're about to head back to our hotel. There goes taco trucks for days. and we are at a layover in Long Beach and this is the vibe taco trucks and all that good stuff um, I'm gonna get my camera to focus and show you guys so this is a Pike outlet they have a couple stores Nike H&M The Gap 21 and a Ferris wheel and they have a lot of food a lot of food trucks out this is the first to be in the flight attendant, like I always mention. It's a Saturday and I'm out and about in Long Beach, California, enjoying myself. Okay, you can go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Just enjoying myself. They have taco trucks here, here. People are out. I'm kind of glad the world is kind of returning back to normal. People are outside. It's still so much normal and I appreciate it. The beach is really close. I want to walk to the beach. Um, so, yeah, let's get into the video. Look, 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 look at the Ferris wheel. So cute. All right.
our LA little trip, y'all. I've been in the streets all day, walking around, going to the beach, going to the outlet, getting some good tacos and Roscoe's chicken and waffles. But now your girl is tired. I have an early morning pickup again. This video is all about early pickups and how to manage your time for early pickups. The hotel is going to bed. <laughs> See y'all in the morning. Good night. Morning. It's an early morning. This whole week has been an early, early morning. Granted, we are on East Coast time, so it's really like 7.22. Um, we're going to be downstairs at 7.30 this morning. We are going from LA to Salt Lake City, and then Salt Lake City to Fort Lauderdale and Fort Lauderdale to home. Today's go home day. Let's get into the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to this video, and if you guys are new videos or subscribers, I am a flight attendant for a major U.S. carrier, and I am really junior. Junior means I'm really new. I'm at the bottom of my base, and I get a, I have to like find ways to seek my schedule and make it better for me. So that's what my channel's about and my lifestyle of a flight attendant and how I manage it. So yeah, let's get into this video. Make sure you guys subscribed. We got all our snacks, water, we got ice. Beer and wine, alcoholic car. So we're all set to go. Just made it to the Salt Lake City Airport. It's pretty busy. But first, let's get, let's get Cafe Rio first and then head to our flight to Fort Lauderdale. Always get Cafe Rio when you're in Salt Lake City. So be sure to order on the mobile app to pick up. All right, y'all. So we're flying on our A321 today. Today's go home day. Okay, starting. Check your equipment. Check. My bag's away. Check my jump seat. Make sure we have our snack boxes for first class. We do. Okay. We have our water. Water. So please take a look at my take make sure you have you've been catered correctly. The snacks here. Take those off. Wax these up. Just with having like medical emergencies, it's always best to stay calm, be empathetic, have compassion for others, and kind of just stay calm under pressure. Um, this is about this is the fight attendant life: being calm under pressure and maintaining your professionalism even when things are going on. It's out of your control. The, my biggest thing is always finding help, like finding a doctor, finding a nurse, finding an EMT. Anybody on the plane who has a medical background, I need you to come up here because I don't, I don't, I know some some things, but I can't do all everything. So it's always the best to use communication, teamwork, and your best judgment when it comes to medicals on board. Um, so yes, it's the flight attendant life, doing medicals and maintaining your composure, your professionalism, and just keep going. This trip overall has really been great. It has some great layovers, so I'm ready to get back home. We are headed to Fort Lauderdale, or it's our last flight of the day. We are in our galley. A galley is the aircraft's kitchen. Um, I am the A again, so again, we're on the Airbus 321 in the front. Let's go to Fort Lauderdale. This flight should be like four hours and 30 minutes, and it's actually full. All of our flights have been super full, super duper, super duper full. But let's get into it. Let's go home. I've already checked my emergency equipment. I checked my catering equipment. I went to my jump seat with one. We just made it on the aircraft. Again, I'm flying lead. Today is go home day. We're about to check our equipment and get ready for our people to board our flight. We have one leg to LAX to Salt Lake City, so it's like an hour and about 35 minutes, maybe one hour and 40. We don't know this yet. Wait for the captain to arrive. Let's get into the video. Go home, day. Alright, we just made it on our second flight of the day. We are going home. For the other to Atlanta, so it's super easy flight. Uh, we have two Delta Vice Presidents on the flight, or one Delta Vice President on the flight. So, let's see how this goes. I got my compliance. In compliance, we have my watch, my ID, my wings, and my proper bars.
awe off with a single white. Okay, I have enough ice. We're good on ice. I think, yeah, we're good on ice. I just found another gray part too, so we're good. Do you have any extra Pure wipes or? No. Y'all, the Atlanta airport is popping. Y'all people out here traveling again? I really appreciate that. Y'all doing a good job. All these folks out here traveling. It's a Sunday. And the airport is so full. Like, look at all these people that's out here. Crazy. 